All right, guys, welcome back to another Raid Shell Legends video. This is Ali Plays, and today we just got uh, patch 1.13.5. So this this patch didn't really have any problems unless it, unless the initial release. Um, I think it was like 6 a.m. my time. Uh, they were re rebooting the server like three times. So, but but now the patch is looks pretty uh, pretty solid. No no issues. Usually they have too many issues where you can't even play the game. So hopefully right now. Uh, fingers crossed that it stays like that. So this update is basically just for platinum tier, so only 300 players are going to benefit from this update. Other than the daily login rewards, so we're going to go over that after. So there's going to be um, new avatars for platinum for platinum uh, tier. Honestly, I don't really care about avatars. Um, and we got some new artifact sets that we're going to go over as well. So they said we've taken your feedback and we've. Um, implemented a new platinum tier reward system but our feedback was actually to introduce some uh, better rewards for gold four as well and downwards because the thing is we get we get rewards every week and the game that i'm playing right now uh, seven deadly sins every week they give you a whole bunch of like diamonds which are basically gems in this game and uh, yeah compared to like right now i'm like very low in pvp and seven deadly sins i get bi i get big rewards every week so yeah, Plarium does need to continue working on the reward system for for Arena. It is pretty bad. So there's going to be an ultimate chest for the top three players in the Platinum tier. So that's going to be like impossible for almost everybody to get except for three players. <laughs> Super Platinum chest, 4 to 20. Again, that's almost impossible as well. And Platinum tier chest. So you might be able to sneak in to the 300 spot, but not everybody's going to be able to do that. I've actually never even got a Platinum tier chest reward. Yeah, again, new avatars. We're adding two sets of unique avatars, Platinum, Ultra Platinum. Ultra Platinum avatars draw from Ultra Platinum chests, while Platinum avatars draw from both Super Platinum and Platinum tier chests. And new artifact sets. So these two sets will only draw from Platinum tier chests, and they bring new advantages to your party. So Platinum tier chests are basically uh, the from place tw tw 21 to 300. They got to reward that because are they saying that the Ultra Platinum, Super Platinum do not get that as well? Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> Swift Perry set. So this is a four, you gotta got get four pieces to make one set. It gives you plus 18% speed and plus 30% crit damage. That is actually very strong. And you get a 50% 50, 50 chance to get unkillable for one turn when hit with a fatal hit. So people were looking at this thinking it was OP, but the good thing is that they made it only, uh, it will only be able to activate once per round. But still, in Arena, that's a huge advantage. So they say this is an excellent hybrid set. It boosts speed and crit damage and also gives the wearer a chance of getting unkillable buff and surviving an attack that would have otherwise killed them. The buff would only be able to activate once per round, but it'll give your fast damage dealers a second shot of success. So people who have um, cleansers, who have Rotos, uh, yeah, basically cleansers and Rotos are not going to have any issues. They even Tormund. Tormund can take away the unkillable. So yeah, I don't know if this is going to be that strong. It looks very strong, but... I think it might be not as strong as everybody thinks it is. Uh, deflection set, HP plus 20%, defense plus 20%. This is actually beast because it combines both of them. This is very good for a tank. And you get a 25% chance to deflect one debuff onto the attacker when a debuff is placed on the wearer. That is actually very good. But the thing is though, does resistance, if, if, the, uh, if the attacker has high resistance, can he resist this debuff or no? That's what I want to know. So this set will make your enemies regret ever attacking you whenever an enemy tries to place a debuff on the set's wearer. There is a 25% chance of deflecting it back onto the attacker instead, meaning the original target won't receive the debuff. It also increases the HP and defense. So please note these artifact sets will be available in arena chests starting from next arena ranking period, which is March 16th. <laughs> of course they are. Uh, new badges of honor. Starting now, players who finish first in Platinum Tier will be recognized with a special badge next to their username, counting the number of first place finishes. I probably won't ever have a badge. New daily login rewards. So we've overhauled the daily login rewards program and extended it to 180 days. Log into the game every day to receive shards, resources, skill tombs, and much more. For reaching the 120th and 150th days, you'll receive brand new epic champions. And on the 180th day, you will get a free legendary champion. So here are the new daily login war champion. Dark Lane, <clears throat> Lordly Legionary, and Sile of the Drakes. Now you can sign in with Apple if you're on, the, on your Apple iOS device. 
a new champion for St. Patrick's Day, Cillian, the lucky legendary attack type champion from the Bannerlords faction. So hopefully it doesn't look weird. <laughs> I mean, the, the thing is, though, Bannerlords don't look weird, but they all look the same. Like, be, they should make it as have an option to take off their helmets. Uh, increase the number of lesser potions that draw from stages 12 to 15 if, if affinity keeps. So they did not re, they did not word this correctly. They increase the minimum drop of lesser potions. So the minimum one, um, I think is it's seven now. Either se it's either seven or nine. Uh, probably seven. They want to give us nine. Doesn't make sense. Gold paddle pass level indicator. I've actually noticed this. There's actually a number uh, beside your your um, avatar. This will now be displayed in the chat, the arena, the bastion, as well as clan and clan boss interfaces. Please note that this indicator will be only displayed on the icons of those players that have acquired a gold battle pass. Champions, rebalance, and fixes. Uh, Frozen Banshee, she did need a fix, but she needs an AI fix. I don't know if they did that. They gave her a buff. So she used to have a 10% chance of placing a, uh, the 25% poison sens sensitivity debuff for two turns. And the chance increased by 10% for each debuff on the target. And now she places, she just places it, so there's no chance. But the thing is, though, her AI is messed up. I don't think she, she places her poisons. I think that was the issue. I'm not sure. She either doesn't place poison sensitivity when she's on auto or use her basic. I think her basic has the poisons on it. So but this is this is actually very good if, if they can fix her AI. Uh, multiple skills that prevent the target from reviving were fixed and work now as intended when War Master or Giant Slayer masteries are activated. And then here are the champions, Rotos, Bloodgorged, uh, Inithway, Cult Brawler, Maiev, Excruciator, Painsmith, Beast Wrestler, Conqueror, and Armager. So Armager, ooh, Armager. <laughs> Due to significant recent balance changes, they reset the ratings for Yonaka, Angar, Sithali, and Shamrock. Fixed Septimus AI. This is a big one. Hopefully it's actually fixed. Uh, my brother does have Septimus, so I'll, I will let him know about that. And then there's a whole bunch of fixes. Um, it says Clan Boss Damage Display. So I'm, I'm guessing that they show the clan boss damage now. I will test that out. And also some people were telling me that Rotos actually does more damage now. I think on his A3. We're going to test that out as well. But let's go look over the uh, daily login rewards. So we do get Dark Elaine after 120 days. Um, we get a Void Shard here. 650 energy. Uh, these potions are pretty big, I would say. I don't know why they can't give us the superior version. 100 gems, ancient shard. I noticed that there's no sacred shards. Yeah, they're not giving any sacred shards this time. And hopefully after the 180 days, Plarium can actually make another daily set of daily login words, not having it, making us wait so long in between. And I think that everybody should have got this if they've been playing for over 120 days, just like they did with um, Hikatoon. So yeah, let's take a look at, let's take a look at Dark Lane. Undead Horde's Epic. Oh man, we gotta use Epic books on her. Uh, decrease the target's max HP by 30% of the damage inflicted. Basic attack is just one attack. And if you upgrade it, just does more damage. This place an increased attack buff on herself for two turns, then attacks all enemies, and she has a 50% chance of placing a decreased speed debuff for two turns. Um, you can increase the chances of placing a decreased speed and make it a three turn cooldown. Lethal Winter fills the champion's turn meter by 25% and instantly activates the Death Majesty skill whenever this champion or an ally receives a freeze debuff. Death Majesty is this ability. So if somebody freezes, she's just going to AoE. And then she can instantly remove any freeze debuffs on her and replace them with 30% increased crit rate buff, 30% increased crit damage buff, and a 15% strength and buff whenever an enemy places a freeze debuff on this champion. So yeah, she's actually she looks pretty good, man. She looks like she can counter the old meta i guess with torment but the thing is how much damage can she actually do because she's an attack type champion and she can just get wiped real quick so it honestly it doesn't even matter but torment already got a nerf and then they're releasing champions that basically counter him so torment i guess is almost um he's almost done so yeah so not bad so far uh, Lordly Legionary, I think he was the one for Fire Knight, right? He has a fire flaming sword. He looks pretty cool, actually. His model looks bad, like, in general, but his 
Weapon looks cool. You know what he looks like? He looks like a Dark Souls type of character. So his basic attack is a double hit, plays an extra hit if the target's under a heal reduction, and um, places two extra hits if the target's under a 100% heal reduction. So if you bring somebody that has 100% heal reduction, he's actually going to hit four times. That's crazy. I think this guy might be a must-have for Fire Knight. Attacks one enemy, has a 75% chance of placing decreased speed, so decreased speed is also good for Fire Knight. And he decreased the target's turn rate by 20% if the decreased speed debuff is placed, and has a 100% chance when maxed out, and not a hundred percent chance for the decreased turn meter for the speed i mean uh cooldown minus one is going to be three turn cooldown not bad and his um last ability places a reflect damage buff and continuous heal buff and allies for two turns four turn cooldown and maxed out and the cool thing about him is that you can actually just max out his um his a2 and i guess his um a3 as well so he needs seven books but if you're not lucky you're gonna have to use ten books to max him out. So I don't know if it's worth doing it. If you guys still need help with Fire Knight, it might be worth it. It's a good free to play option. And let's check the last champion. It's going to be Sile of the Drakes. Kind of looks like a Valkyrie. So she's defense based, damage based on defense. Um, attacks one enemy, has a 20% chance of placing decreased speed debuff for two turns. Also has a 30% chance of decreasing target's turn rate by 15%. Thing is though, I don't think she's going to be scaling off defense that much. She does do damage based on defense but i don't think it's going to be uh too big because you guys have got to remember she is free to play so i don't think playing is going to make her op so if you max her out her, uh, out her a1 it's going to be a 40 percent chance of placing decreased speed and a 50 percent chance of decreasing the target's turn rate by 15 percent a2 is a we that attacks all enemies two times i like that and each hit has a 20 percent chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn and it's going to be a 35 percent chance and they have two chances of placing Stun. That's actually very strong on a three turn cooldown when maxed out. And her A3 Phoenix Wright revives an ally with 50% HP. Wait a minute. Dude, is this a is this a reference to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney? I don't know if you guys know what that is. That's a game. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, I know Phoenixes have always been associated with reviving, but Phoenix Wright? I think that might be. I'm going to ask them about that. Revives an ally with 50% HP and places a 50% ally protection buff on them for two turns. This is actually very good as well. And that's a four turn cooldown. So on paper, she looks pretty good, but we got to test her out. Uh, Boundless Life heals all allies by 10% of their max HP at the start of each turn. And this is a passive. This is actually good. Also places an increased speed buff on a random ally for two turns. So every time she takes a turn, she's going to be doing that. Yeah, that's actually very good. So you got to make her very fast. So overall, her, her, on paper, it looks good, but we got to test her out. So we're going to go look at the clan boss damage counter now. Uh, I don't want to stay too long in clan boss, so I'm actually going to back out soon. Uh, where's Steel Skull? Where's my boy Steel Skull? Or my girl Steel Skull. Steel Skull's a girl, apparently. It looks like a guy. Dude, I don't see the damage counter. All right, we're going to back out, man. I know I wasted a key, but whatever. Um, I don't know if the damage counter is even in this patch, but I, I read something about the damage counter. So I guess I was wrong. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and show Rotos. Apparently, Rotos got a buff. Even though it doesn't say he got a buff, he just got fixed. So one of my clanmates was saying that Rotos was doing too much damage on the ice golem like over almost 200k i think he has more more higher stats than me but uh we're still going to test this out yeah we're going to go through this one and then we're going to go just skip to the to the ice golem so the video is not too long all right so so on our journey to get to the last stage i noticed that he actually was doing more damage but let's see how much he does against the boss I try even tried him out in arena. I actually did like ninety six thousand damage against a martyr with a one shot. Yeah, he's doing two hundred thousand damage. I never did that much damage before. I'm not complaining, but I guess other people that do not have Rotos will complain, obviously, because they're saying that he's gonna get a nerf. And then I think he got a buff. I don't think it was intentional either. Is it just his A three? 169,000 damage. And mine never hit that hard, man. Wait a minute. Did this block revive not work? Wait, 
I think his block revive didn't work. Let's see. Let's see this again. He should have block revive soon. There it is. Okay, he placed it. He didn't place it on the other one, but he placed it on on that one. <laughs> Yo, this might be good for ice golem times. Yeah, yeah. Okay, his block revive is okay. But he's doing a lot of damage, man. I don't know if they like upped his scaling, made his attack his, him stronger. I don't know what they did, but he does more damage. Even his basic attack, 86,000 damage. Mine never did that much damage. So Rotos did get 190,000. <laughs> yeah, I think Rotos got buffed, man. He did 2.4 million damage. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I think he's gonna get nerfed, guys. Because I don't think that was intentional. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for the video. If you guys found this video helpful or entertaining anyway, make sure you guys drop a like. If you guys are new to the channel and you'd like to see, then consider subscribing. And as always, I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Tyrone. I need everybody to subscribe to the homie Ali Al Plays. And that's non-negotiable.